going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Monster Legends. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, peeps, as you can see here, crazy week's going on. Um, it's not so crazy to me, or it didn't look that crazy. Uh, you check out the monster offers. Um, they're really not that great. Like, I wouldn't buy anything at all that's on crazy week right now. But whatever, it's crazy week according to them, so crazy week it is. Any little peeps, we got stuff to do today. Um, we're not quite ready to gather up coins yet. Um, we do have quite a bit stashed back, though. We're sitting at 9,200 coins right now, which is... Almost a thousand coins a day we're averaging. Hopefully I can keep that up because if I can, I'll be able to get Fognar. And that is bueno for us. Very bueno. But, <clears throat> important stuff and things. Announcement. Bam. M2 Wyvern, ready to be a baby. So, we're going to go ahead and hash this guy up. Level him to 100 because, grow spurt. Need to get that 2.25 million fed for those 15 free gems. And then, we may take him to PvP or something. But, first up, we got to hatch him, right? So... He's got three rune slots, which is hot diggity dog. Let's go ahead and place this dude up, and that's exactly where I want to place him. Actually, do I want to place him over here? Let's place him over here. Why not? Give him his own habitat. Room to grow. Oh, yeah. Oh, he goes straight to space. Suck it. All right, there we go. M2 Wyvern is now a thing. That's hot for us. He looks pretty baller. Now... Jordy is not going to cut it, but we'll name him something else later. I got to brain up some ideas. But anyways, peeps, we're going to go ahead and level this guy all the way to a Hunsky, and I will see you guys when we are done. Alright, peeps, we got him to level 100. Let's check out these statisticals. 3,509 base power, so pretty solid power. Only 25,000 life, so he's got a little bit lower life stat than a lot of monsters. Not terrible, you can get around that. And his speed is 3388, so he's also pretty slow. But, he's a damage dealer. It's okay if he's slow, he doesn't have to be the fastest guy on the board. It's not really his job. Let's jump into his skills. We'll start with his special down here. AoE, insane special damage to all enemies. That's amazing. You want giant damage, and it's special, so it's unresistible by anybody. That's good news. Jump into the skills I took and why I took them. ME55S, heavy metal damage and a stun. If you have an option to take a stun on a damage dealer, you should, I'd say 75% of the time, you should definitely take it, because stuns are always good. It really helps you out, you know, in almost every situation. MS65. Now, people say, why would you take MS-80 and MS-65? The reason being here, MS-65 is a zero cooldown special attack. That gives you power over Timarian, which you will definitely face in a metal war or a mechanical war, because that's usually what people use. Uh, so this will help you dodge cooldowns activated. So that's why I kept that one for Shurzies. And MS-80, I mean, look at the damage on that thing. It's insane. I think it's 80 base power, so it's freaking huge. I mean, it's, it's a one-shot monster, pretty much. Moving on over, we've got the MSS-30SD. Deals low special damage to all enemies, removes 50% of standard from all targets. Now, um, there was an AoE burn. You can take that for more damage-based, but I think a big stamina drain like that on a damage dealer 
um, is very good. It's a very good thing to have because not only is he going to be hitting pretty hard, when you're stripping three monsters of 50% of their stamina, they're not going to get a lot of turns before they have to recharge. So that's a very powerful skill in my opinion, and that's why I took it. You can take other skills, obviously. These are the ones I chose. Um, any hoodles, peeps. We're going to go ahead and rune this guy up. We got really lucky. He's got three rune slots. Um, one negative about him. The trait kind of stinks. Immune to magnetism. Eh. But what ifs, peeps? Oh, it's doing it again. Here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and add some runes up. First up, I'm going to throw on a level 5 team speed. Now, people may fight me on this. Like, why would you do that, Wrath? I'll tell you in a second. First up, let's go ahead and get these runes on. We're going to throw two level 5 strength runes on him because, you know, why wouldn't you? Kabam. Now he's looking pretty schmexy. Um, the reason I throw team speed on monsters is because, one, it makes your denial monster faster. And if you don't know, speed is pretty much everything in Monster Legends. If you take any time out of your day at all to scout top players' profiles, you're going to run into a very common system they use on their PvP attack and defense teams. You're going to see a denial monster with three speed, a support monster or another damage dealer with three team speed, and then maybe another one with two team speed and a strength. Because their main goal is to make that denial monster the fastest monster on the map. Because if it's not, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So that's why I put team speed and not just a regular speed. It makes him weaker by himself, but you're never going to run a monster by itself. You're going to put them in a team. So that's why I did him that way. So, man, he is just one sexy beast. Look at that guy. He's humongous. That's awesome. So we're going to go ahead. Sawsome. Anywho's, <laughs> LOL. We're going to jump in. Actually, do I have a war attack I need to be doing? Let me check that real quick. Eh, you know what? I'm going to do that in a different video anyway, so that doesn't even matter. Unimportant. Now we gotta wait for it to load, though. Is my team ready, though? While I'm here, I might as well check. It is. Okay, good. So I can do that here in a second as well. But any noodles, peeps, we're gonna jump in and do some PvP action with MS. What's his face? M2 Wyvern, I said. <laughs> LOL. Let's jump over here. Um, change my team up. I'm gonna dump you, Gregors. I'm sorry. It's not that you're bad. It's just I wanna try somebody else for a turn. So bam! Here we go. We got M2 Wyvern, Jordy, making a debut here. Um. Let's look around here a little bit. I don't like messing with Krampus because he has a very high base speed, and that's bad. This guy's got a cabin fish. Cabin fish is nasty. I've got one. I know. He's dangerous. Um, that guy's got a Xyla. No bueno. Let's go ahead and search one more. See if we can find something here. Um, good lord, everybody's looking like they're pretty nasty. I don't like fighting Timerians at all. But... You know what? You gotta try something sometimes, right? You know, like, I never, ever attack that guy. That guy, actually, the middle dude, might be a thing. 115 Bella Ball. He's got a 182. I'm gonna try the middle guy instead. Higher trophy win if I, you know, win, and lower loss if I lose. So let's jump in and see if we can make something happen here. Um, looks like he's ruined that guy correctly. He's just not maxed out yet. So that's good news for us. Um... The two team speeds we have on our deal is going to make Captain Jack even faster, almost 6,000 speed. So let's jump in here, hopefully smash these people. Hopefully if things go well. Um, hmm. What shall we do? Let's go ahead and drop a, a bullet rain, get everybody stunned. Hopefully get everybody stunned is the operating word there. We missed Balthazar. That's not a huge deal, I don't think. Go ahead and pop Strength from Beyond on M2 Wyvern here. And now here's the question. Do I want to drain stamina? I can kill Krampus flat out that way. And drain 50% stamina on everybody? Probably not a bad idea. Let's try that. Let's try that. Missed him again. You gotta be kidding me. That guy's a freaking ninja. So he's gonna hit somebody pretty hard. He's gonna hit all three of us pretty hard. No big deal. I've got um, Light Within for Demise to take away that, uh, the status effects. So that's not a huge deal. Go ahead and, go ahead and drop... Um, well, she's immune to that right now. I one shot with that? I cannot. No big thing. No big thing, peeps. We're going to try to drop a stun down here. Actually, yeah. We're going to try to hit this guy, get her weak enough that I might be able to kill her in a single shot because, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of what we want to do. Anywho, peeps, we're going to drop a round rain now because, um, oh, she'll really be alive by that much life. Really. 46 life. But I got them both. That's perfect for us. We got them frozen, peeps. That's good news for the home team. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop the Light Within because it not only gives a damage boost, it also removes all negative status effects. So that's going to get rid of that Nightmares and Bleed on us. Poof. And give us a damage buff to smash some noobs. Oh, Freeze killed her. Huh? Suck it, noob. Anyways, we've got Cavin Fish here. I'm going to drop a Board Her up on him to Wyvern. Get him some hot damage boost and accuracy going. Mainly for the accuracy there. He already had damage boost. But whatevs. And now... 
think we're going to drop a hot MS-80. That sounds legit. Heavy damage. 34,000. That's what I'm talking about, peeps. Get wrecked. So we beat him. It was actually tougher than I thought it was going to be. Those runes are nasty. Those two level five strength runes did some damage to me. That's okay. We got the win. Kind of what we were going for anyway, right? Um, hopefully we'll get some maze coins too because I need me some maze coins, peeps. We're not going to get them. Um, I don't do the extra spins in these just because it, sometimes it crashes my recording. So I know normally I would, but because, you know, we're recording, I can't. Now, let's take a looky here. We got a 100 Nishant's pet. It's probably going to be ruined pretty quickly. None of my monsters are immune to possession. Usually Gregor's is, so it's okay if I fight that guy. Um, but right now, I don't know. Rock Antium has given me fits before with his stupid... Like, every time I fight him, he gets Marble Hat the first turn. So we're not going to risk it, peeps. We're just going to keep looking. Now, what do we got here? Um, 105 Tempest. I don't like that. Because he's fast, he's got an all stun. Again, right now, none of my monsters are immune to stun. So, uh, I'd rather face somebody like Varuna or something because I can dodge the AoE freeze. Let's do one more search here. Come on, give me something good. Um, Samantha here has three 105s, which is dangerous. And Tega can be nasty to fight against. But I don't see any um, uh, strong denial monster. Mystery is okay at it, but no like a guaranteed AoE like stuns or something. So I'm going to try Samantha here. Hopefully things go well. They may not. Oh, wow. Look at that. Team speed. Holy farts. But a lot of health. A lot, a lot of health on these guys. I think we can swing it. Hopefully we can swing it. We're going to jump in here and give it a shot, of course. So let's do our best, peeps. poof there we go victory again that one took a little while but whatever it's not that bad we can deal with that another victory for the home team let's go ahead and spin this wheel up hopefully get some maze coins fingers crossed and nope we got some cookie cells i'll take them can't go wrong with a cookie any hoodles peeps let's look around here a little bit more um i do not like copper beard because the mountain trait makes him very strong against cavern fish he's also metal which means he'll do double damage or not double damage but damage and a half to my um demise and my m2 wyvern is metal so i might be able to swing it but i you know what let's try if we lose we lose you know what happens what happens peeps so he's ruined his monster smart this is dangerous for us um luckily they're not super high speeds or anything so we should be okay here i don't see any any health runes so let's jump in
There we go, peeps. Three wins with the M2 Wyvern. He's definitely a good monster. I like him a lot just because that stamina drain is really cool on a damage dealer. Um, I like it a lot. It's very good. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel up. Hopefully we'll get maze coins this time. Come on, game. Love me. Or hate me. Stamina. Ugh. Oh, it's like a slap in the face. But whatevs, peeps. We did our best. We've done three attacks. We did win all of them, so I'm happy with that. And I'm actually very happy with the M2 Wyvern in general. Very cool monster. Um, obviously, I wish I had better runes I could put on him. But you know what? Actually, actually, peeps. Let's go ahead and collect this rune up here. Boom. And we've got the gold. We're sitting on like 140 million. We might as well start upgrading this building because we need to do it. Oh, also, I think I've got something to do here. I'm just learning all kinds of stuff right now, peeps. Um, let's go ahead and claim this last PvP battle. Boop. And Bonus, the Guardian of Farming, is now a thing. Come here, Lizard Man. Oh, yeah. Epic. Poof. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Amazing. So, um... Gonna take how many activations? Four activations to get this guy to the next level. We've got some gold here already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and activate him. Not because I really need the food production, but I want to get him uh, on his way to leveling up, so that's important. Pretty expensive. <laughs> but no big deal, peeps. We got that done. Um, that's gonna be it for this video, I think. And then we'll come back. I gotta do a Team Wars attack here in a second anyway, so whatevs. We'll be back in a little bit, peeps. Any hoodles. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave those in the down there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked the video, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button to show your support, and I will see you guys next time.